back to back pretty much here. Hello and welcome to AA episode 56. This is, it might not seem like a crazy milestone or anything, but it's a, it's a smaller milestone for me. Uh, but we won't get into that. Anyhow, uh, hello and welcome to AA episode 56. It is September 24, 2018. Thanks for tuning in here today. It is quite a joy for me to be able to speak in this casual discussion today based upon an atheist comment that I've selected from the internet, which includes my notes to guide me along for the sake of time, if I've prepped them well enough. Otherwise, we gotta wing it. I'm a former atheist, a little about me, a former atheist who got saved in the lead-up to the Y2K scare. Very happy. Very happy about that. You got me on board. All right. All right, so before we get to the comment, I'd like to dish out a verse, 1 Corinthians 7, 2, but because of the temptation to sexual immorality, each man should have his own wife and each woman her own husband. I just thought of something. I just thought of something. Um, one or two ago that we just did, uh, the one about the uh, parents beating children with rods type thing, uh, it's often the case that I have a thought afterwards and I can't go back, but think about it. Think about it. Think about what that uh, point kind of concedes. The uh, validity of the Bible being true. Being true. Certain things weren't taken out. Weren't taken out. Think about that. If you wanted to rig it, smartly and have everybody believe a b c d well you'd make things as smooth and easy as possible and have no bad stuff in it or else people could get offended and dislike it uh, so it actually um, aids in the validity rather than you know uh, is a problem or anything so just a small point to add on there all right Time for the comment here that we're going to deal with. It's just, I get these afterthoughts. And man, I wish I said this or that. Anyhow, we're also trying to get these under five minutes. So to crank out more content, crank out tons of more content, more comments, more replies, make me much more well-rounded and prepared to deal with anything, any topic. So here's the comment. Our morality is based on logic. We don't want to be robbed, raped, or murdered, so we don't do it to other people. It's the golden rule. Hmm. Interesting, interesting. Interesting, interesting. Just because you don't want uh, A, B, C uh, to happen to you uh, doesn't mean it won't happen to you. Let's say get robbed or something. You don't rob, so you think you're not going to get robbed. Um, or... Um, or just because you refrain from something doesn't mean um, doesn't mean you won't be fallible to uh, do this or that. Um, you know why why not do A B C? You know especially if you can uh, you know escape getting caught and avoid justice. You know in some sense. Um, Let's just say a quick scenario type thing. Let's say you're essentially king of the world. You've got infinite money and uh, you want to bring about the uh, new world order type stuff. Um, so let's say you had things um, where you have it where most of the population gets killed off through various means direct, indirect 
Um, you know, and you, well, you actually not be in that one, that being someone. So just because you do ABC doesn't mean they won't, you know, why, why wouldn't they, you know, why wouldn't they do such a thing if they can, you know, rule the world, the entire world and be king. And, you know, uh, depopulate to save the planet type of deal. Which we'll have to we'll have to talk about food, water type stuff another time and that sort, all that type of stuff. Got a little sidetracked here, but nonetheless, um, morality based on logic. He doesn't do A B C, but it doesn't it doesn't necessarily mean it won't happen to them from someone else. It, it's only them. Uh, what's 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 keeping them from stealing? Why wouldn't he want to steal? What's wrong with stealing? He didn't really get into that. Um, to uh, kind of have whatever moral law of not stealing type of a deal. That's borrowing. That's borrowing. That's one of the Ten Commandments. You know, uh, rape. It's also borrowing not rape uh, the Ten Commandments type of a deal um, murder to not murder that's what what on earth would be wrong for one animal to do ABC to another animal it's borrowing 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 from Christianity to make his uh, case, to make his point. You don't like this, this, this subjectively. He's not going to do this, this, this subjectively, but uh, subjectively it could happen to him because of someone. So what would be the refraint? What would be the refraint to be doing those things? Um... Would the idea of God be a good, a good refraint on all sorts of different things? And the um, the uh, outcome, the eventual outcome, end game, would that be a good deterrent for those types of things? Christianity's morals are based upon God, who God is, his nature, his character, his being. On the flip side, being just without God, the image of God, and such a objective standard. If we're just stardust pond scum, Oh, I, I fail to see why it would be wrong to do A, B, C, D. Um, what if someone gets more enjoyment out of A, B, C than the other person gets harm or pain? What if, what if someone benefits more than detriments? And, uh, to not murder implies, in some sense, life being good. You know, in atheism, what what the heck difference would it make? You know, what what difference would it make? And how can life be called good? What what is good? Where where is that coming from? Where is that coming from? So one is saying, keeping these commandments is good, and 
these commandments not happening to oneself is good. So this is like a, uh, what's it called? Something like a societal Christian. So like a societal Christian atheist type of a deal. Notice he mentions logic. Also, our morality is based on logic. Well, just briefly, he just lost his case, trying to argue his case. He just referred to the immaterial. And if the immaterial exists, then God could exist. That's a problem. Um, if he's a materialist, that is. So, uh, this logic reference, he's kind of presupposing Christianity and uh, everything being consistent, upheld consistently, or else it's just, who, who knows? Uh, there wouldn't be a basis for this and that. Outside of God upholding things, it's just begging the question, will things be the same for... Uh, science and all that to be to make any sense and to be same maintained all, all sorts of different things uh, not only logic there's laws of logic which are immaterial more problems stomach shh, not now and uh, yeah nature being upheld same type of thing uniformity of nature so he's borrowing all these Christian things to make his point to try and make his point which he didn't really say he didn't really say those things are bad wrong or evil he kind of implied but he didn't really make the claim on what basis would those things be ABC you know so anyhow we're going to wrap up already. These are getting faster, I think. Ooh, nice. We'll have to produce way more content. Hopefully, hopefully. I'd like to produce a lot more content, a lot more videos. Get them down to five minutes. All right. Conclusion time. Romans 3.23. If all have sinned and come short of the glory of God, seems like I was just saying these. Romans 6.23. For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Romans 5.8. But God demonstrates his own love towards us in, the, in that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. Romans 10, 9, that if you confess with your mouth Jesus as Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. Romans 5, 1, therefore, since we have been justified through faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. All right. 56, done. So we got 57. 58, 59, next time. We're on the road to 60. And, yeah, if, if we get them down to five minutes, we'll be able to crank them out a lot better, I think. We'll be more motivated because they take less time. I'll be more motivated. And I would like to do other series. I have different series in mind. One of them, one of them is based on evolution. That would be really fun. That would be really fun. And I have just the material to run forever on that content without even looking up any comments. I have I have a resource that would be provide tons of content, tons and tons. So Yeah, so anyhow, enough rambling. I got to get more comments at some point so add them to the pool to select from so anyhow thank you very much i'll see you again as always take care cool